The first topic here today is DC Slate, too big for one person, or Warner Brothers in general, I would say. I don't... Like, did they even have a slate at this point? Is there actually a slate? Well, fun fact, apparently it's rumored there's another updated slate coming out this week, so... <laughs> Haven't there been, like, two in the last month? Oh, like, yeah. what version is this? Uh, I, I don't know, it's just rumored to be coming out. It's just like, really? Like, we had one before Christmas. So yeah. How can it change so much? But, I don't know. But apparently, like, Feige must be Jamie Madrix. <laughs> Uh, how else can just one man do this? Apparently it's impossible. But so I don't know, this seems lazy to me. So, here, oh, it's too big for one person. No. Here's what I'm thinking, right? I think this DC slate, if they are going to announce it, because I heard mumblings, I don't know, what was it, like a month and a half ago, that some big DC thing was happening in January. Maybe they delayed it to February. I, I don't know like what the whole thing is, but... Do you guys think that this is where they announced really the concrete future? They're like, yeah, Affleck, you're probably out. Because they couldn't keep him around to the Flash, so... See, I don't know, because like, they've had the massive shake-up this month. Yeah. So they've done two shake-ups this month. So it's like, maybe that was the big DC thing that was happening. And mm. like, I don't see them having a concrete slate this quickly after all that's happened. Mm. That's so... true. Well, I've also been told that CinemaCon this year... Warner Brothers does intend to have something there with DC. Now, I don't know what that is, but, I mean, CinemaCon I'd can kind of make some waves, so... No, probably the slate. Yeah. When, when is CinemaCon? Uh, it's uh, end of April. So that's before uh, San Diego. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, yeah, I can imagine them, like, going, right, well, we can't do... We can't win uh, San Diego, so let's try and just dominate with CinemaCon. It would like, make let's sense. Get all like, let's not spread the headlines out with other people. Let's just have ourselves. Because Marvel doesn't really do CinemaCon, does it? No, uh, I mean, they did, like, the Sony Spider-Man thing last year, but that's really it. Like, Marvel themselves kind of just... They don't need it because they got the Disney stuff, so, you know, it is what it is. So, yeah, I'd imagine that's probably what they're planning. Like, let's make the headlines of CinemaCon. Yeah. yeah and... It was the whole thing of what Fox was trying to do with uh, New York Comic Con. But then they kind of pulled everything from that. So, they end up getting nothing, though. So. Yep. Well, I mean, when you think about it, right, um, if you go to CinemaCon, maybe they can show off the first footage of Aquaman there or whatever, and yep. then save, kind of, like, dominate that time of the year, and then kind of, I guess, to use another Aquaman pun, like, coast along into fall <laughs> and December, because, being real, this entire spring slash summer is all Marvel. So, you know, take what you can get, put out what you can get, go to CinemaCon, do it. And if you have to show up at San Diego Comic-Con, maybe at CinemaCon, you reveal your slate. And then at San Diego, you put on your Warner Brothers panel and you announce who's going to direct one or two of the movies you've announced in like a release date or something, right? Like, so kind of mm. keep it in the headlines for the duration of the spring, but clearly you're not going to come out there and dominate Marvel, specifically at San Diego. So you're going to kind of just have to pick your you know, like, smaller shows and hopefully you win the battle there when Marvel's not going, so that's... Yeah, and I hope their, like, CinemaCon panel has, like, three people for DC. Yeah. It's like, it's too big for one, so here's three. <laughs> here's Jeff Johns. He's over there <laughs> twirling his thumb still. Look at him. <laughs> uh, oh, poor Jeff Johns. Yeah. I mean, realistically, out of this slate, what do you want? Uh, a good movie. That's all I want. Whoa, 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 whoa. Um, let's, let's not I mean, jump in. You mean you almost got one? <laughs> I've got two-thirds of one. I'm kind yeah. of happy with it. <laughs> I'm, I'm contempt with that one. Um, I don't know. I just I just want Aquaman to be good. I think that one has to. Yeah. For the, for the character's sake. Um, I wouldn't mind seeing a Superman 2, or a Man of Steel 2, whatever the fuck you call it. Uh-huh. Um, I don't know, really. So, Give me a Metal Men movie. Do that. I was going to say, my thing is, they should just take an approach from the Marvel school of thinking. Go into it and be like, okay, what are people not expecting? What could we maybe do lower budget, give people something, and try to produce that on some sort of feasible, doable budget. And maybe surprise people, because Green Lantern didn't work. Clearly nothing 
else to, oh, hell, the Justice League didn't work. The Justice yeah. League. So at this point, you might as well throw out like Plastic Man out there, and that might work. I don't know, but it might. Yeah. Like it's actually, I, th I think no, it's probably time for another stab at Green Lantern. Mm. Especially if it is that buddy cop movie. Like go full on like Thor Ragnarok with us. Okay, uh, now. Green I see what you're saying there, but isn't it also kind of feasible that before they can ever get that buddy cop movie out there, that we're probably going to get a buddy cop Nova Corp movie? I mean, probably. Yeah. Um, depending on what James Gunn does. Um, but, actually, I don't know. Because it, it, Nova all depends on what Gunn does. Mm -hmm. And if Gunn doesn't set that up, then you're not going to get it. Unless the Russos go, no, you, you, we, we're doing this. Yeah. Um, so you could actually... It's possible Green Lantern could come out before a Nova movie. Um, I don't know how likely I mean, that is. Realistically, looking at it right now, the movies that are currently in development, which aren't that many, like you're going to get Shazam and you're getting Wonder Woman in December 2019 at the end of it. So just by the virtue of that... We're not getting another wave of DC movies to like 2020. And if you're thinking about it like that, how far Batman is, where they're still just writing the early drafts by Reeves, you're probably not looking at Batman until like summer of 2021. So, probably. I mean, you're looking at I Green think, Lantern realistically, need... maybe 2022. <laughs> yeah, like, I think they need to put like a Batman on the back burner for a bit. Figure out what you're going to do with that character and what your director and your actors want to do with that character. But put your focus elsewhere mm. like like a, a green lantern would be perfect for them right now yep. it, you can just like don't set up on earth at all just have it all in space like just completely guardians of the galaxy that shit and yeah uh, well i want to kind of like be real about the way dc is formulating this they've clearly admitted they can't do what marvel does so you're probably going to get one dc movie a year which i'm okay with but it, brand wise it's like in this day and age the way people consume stuff is terrible yeah it's just like oh i have that one thing i want more i want more, I want uh -huh. more. and it's i don't know it's like, it, they have to do at least two but like while they're finding their foot in after justice league i think one a year is fine yeah and like as, as long as i can just I mean, keep like the attention on them in certain parts like they I mean, should be okay one a year is fine but in two years' time, Marvel is going to be expanded to four to five movies a year. Yeah. So yeah. you're going to get drawn out just by the sheer ver like virtue and volume that Marvel is going to put out along with their Fox acquisition. So it it's going to get kind of ridiculous. So I don't know. They, they just they just need to do the whole like start from phase one. Yep. You do like sure phase one started with two movies a year in like the span of three months. Mm -hmm. But like you do one movie. You do another one, then you do two a year, and then you maybe do three, and then four. And yeah. Like you just build it up. If they do that, that'd be fine. Yeah, build up momentum in a nice, smart, like decisive way, and don't try to jump the gun again. But this is DC, and they're, they tried the first time and they failed, so maybe just take your time. I don't know. I mean, I'm pretty yeah. sure we'll talk about it in the course of the next couple months when we get more news and then three more slates during the course of that so <laughs> get hyped they're all going to be the same slate as well mm. that's what I'm hoping oh yeah oh yeah <laughs>